delegation from Hungarian Cultural Center that as part of the will, a part of collection has been given to uh, IGNCA. And I remember uh, visiting the uh, Hungarian Embassy where uh, approximately 4,000 paintings were kept. Uh, and uh, although we got uh, a part of it, some uh, 1,000 plus paintings, but I am having a positive to glance. And third, uh, third uh, point that she was also a witness of the 20th century. So uh, she was, I think, at the right place at the right time, uh, along with her mother, uh, having met uh, the biggest figures of the Indian history of the 20th century. And uh, she not only met them, but she also painted them. So these are kind of uh, memor memories, memories, uh, souvenirs of these uh, meetings. And as she mentioned in one of the interviews, so these paintings are were so coming to their artistic expedition. It is to be mentioned that when Elizabeth Sarsbrunner left Hungary in 1929 with her 18 year old daughter Elizabeth Brunner, she was already a recognized artist in Budapest. Naturalistic and pantheistic landscapes, memories and visions appear side by side on her canvases. Her creative genius is fully recognized in the realm of landscape painting, especially her. Himalaya. Century, like the anthropologist Margaret Mead, the philosopher and writer Simone de Beauvoir, and also our own Andrea Sherry. Elizabeth Sasha Brunner and daughter, Elizabeth uh, Brunner, the journey to India was uh, a special one uh, from a homeland to a homeland to paintings. Uh, on such uh, proud uh, positions that it tells about this civilization and the cultural heritage of that particular time. One painting sp speaks more than 1,000, 10,000 words, and uh, so, so you can understand so many things about the prevailing civilization and culture.